check out this podcast. My name is Christina and I'll be your host for today. My guests today are Samira, Imo, Todu and Ike and today is our first ever business review. We'll be reviewing the franchise Chicken Republic and we'll talk about Chicken Republic as a brand. We'll also talk about the quality of their products and the brand's position in the market when compared to its competitors. So um, let's start off with Chicken Republic as a brand. Imo, what do you think about Chicken Republic as a brand? I feel they have dominated the market. Um, one thing I like about them is how they have set out franchise in different areas and they are easily accessible. So they are all there in your face and you can't miss them. They have set their brand mark and they have they become a household name everyone wants to partake in. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. Samia, what do you think about Chicken Republic? Hi, thanks for having me on the show. Um, <coughs> I particularly like the brand identity of Chicken Republic. I think it's very modern, very, very interesting, very striking. And um, I also like how they have set out all the stores. It has this distinct Chicken Republic identity. So wherever, whether it's on the island, on the mainland, wherever it is, you will always see a Chicken Republic store and then you know that this is signature Chicken Republic brand identity, brand um, design basically so I, I particularly like their brand identity and I also like that um, their menu is very true they've been very true to their style from the onset so whether it's their meat pie or chicken pie nothing has really deviated from their taste or or their menu selection so you don't start seeing things like maybe fish fish and sauce or something like that you just <laughs> see what they've been true to right from the onset so yes I particularly like that about the brand all right so what do you think about the brand yeah, um, I think thanks for having me on the show, You're welcome. Yeah, so um, I think um, Chicken Republic has done well and well for themselves so far. I think they've carved a need for themselves, and um, I think they're doing great. Although I'm of the opinion that I'm not a great fan of their food. I love their snacks, but their food, um, I think they can improve on that. But as a brand, their identity and um, marketplace, I think they're doing great. So. Alright, I keep. Thank you for having me around with this dinner. Um, I think I'm Chicken Republican. I think Chicken Republican is quite um, a conspicuous brand in the key, in the KSR um, um, segment of um, on fast food here in Nigeria. Uh, not only just being very conspicuous, they're quite aggressive with their marketing and strategy such that, um, I mean, um, unlike any other brand with the 500 and 500 and um, I think it's four, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very affordable for quite a number of people. It's easy to just pick up and then you know, go, which is actually very good for for growing their brand. And I think um, some other brands too have picked out from from this thing, and then yes, they're working on it. Um, yeah, basically that's. That's all I have for them now. While on the show, yes. I mean. So for me, I also like that I can mention the reform meal. And they also have something like the reform app. I think 800 naira full, full cost meal. Not a full cost meal, but you get your all your necessary yeah, nutrients. Yes, and and then you get a friend. drink. Yes, very pocket well, friendly. Yeah. And um, I think other brands have tried to cop- copy that model, but they haven't quite got it yet. You can't go to any chicken public outlet and say you want that meal and they'll tell you oh we're out of it it is always there yeah. any time of the day i think the experience one day is yeah. you run out of it where is that down and near down I'm sure they were done for the I've experienced it once as well, too. I don't, I got far last way. Me, I guess that was after like rush hour and they were probably yeah, done for the day. Good for their business. If they run out of, of, of let's say, stock, I mean, considering. I think they are doing really great. Like, people are actually going for it. Exactly, it's affordable to the But what, but what's interesting is that they don't deliver that meal for you, even if you are going to pay an extra. But I actually find it very annoying when they tell you you have to order a certain amount. Before they can have your food delivered, even though you're still going to pay for a, deli- a, a delivery fee. So, what does it matter what I have to order if I'm still going to pay for the delivery? That is only my only problem with Chicken Republic and that. But I think that's with every like fast food thing. But why is that? Am I not still paying for the delivery? Value for the delivery? Maybe it wants just, I don't know, I don't understand that. I don't understand it because I'm still paying for it. She's paying for the delivery, it doesn't matter what she's ordering, she's paying for it. Yeah, I think you're right. 
but so that doesn't make sense so but i think they do not want to go through the stress of that for just probably 300 naira 500 naira but oh, you pay for, for the delivery that's it so it's not about the money to them in the long run though the money matters it's but the money. i think for business regardless of it's the money. <laughs> yes it's the money but they want how would i put it because let's think about it it's not only chicken republic this is applicable to if you go online and want to place another but minimum of one to minimum of one five no i think <laughs> mostly because they have a private because the dominoes you don't even pay for delivery right do you pay no. for delivery? You don't pay for delivery, whatever you're asking for. I think you do. You? No, no, you don't pay for delivery. So I think it's just the way the business model is. I don't know if it's because it's been, I mean, there are franchises that are. Dominus, is a franchise as well? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I wonder why. So it's not just Chicken Republic. If you go on Jumia Foods, most of the restaurants there, which I think they do is the same bad. thing. If you're going to charge for delivery, let, let, me do, let me ask whatever I need yeah. to ask for, even if it's a bottle of water. It all depends on what you're saying. If what you are saying is not going to amount to that, tell me how lots of good doctors do it. You will still have to say it and charge them for the Oh well, I guess in the course of this we'll find out. So I think this is something we should definitely work on. Yes, they yes. need to yes. look into look Alright, so I think you guys have said everything when it comes to the brand. If it's not high end, it appeals to everybody. Um, if you're rich, you can go to Chicken Republic, you can afford the food. If you're not so, if you're in middle class, you can also afford Chicken Republic. I love the ambience. Every single place you go to, and like Mr. Big Week, where you have different, maybe you go to one, what's it called, Tasty Fried Chicken or somewhere else, and you see how it's the, some places you like it, then you go to another place. Um, Sorry, I would have to call you there. Yes. You made a statement saying if you're rich, you can afford the food. If I'm rich, I don't think I would want Chicken Republic's food. Sometimes. Because for them, I think it's more about quantity than quality. Because I would rather, I think I preferred their, I don't know how long you've been having Chicken Republic, but when this referral marks came, I think the quality reduced when it comes to the food. So I think if I'm rich, I'd rather go elsewhere than get 500 or 850 food. So, but if you're so, the goal, I think it's you exactly it yeah. works. I think that's their, um, their um, the pain point. <laughs> what they decide to work on is for those on the go, affordability for people who can't, <clears throat> and bike man, market women, whoever it is, store owners. But I don't think their target market is for the rich. I don't so, like I don't, their food, I wouldn't say it's great. Their snacks. All right, so you guys have already moved to the. Uh, what's it called? Quality of their products. Mm -hmm. So, like Tony is saying, she does so not quality like of the quality. product. I think they have their off and on days. Some days, exactly. especially when it's fresh out of the stove, it is nice to eat. Mm -hmm. And maybe on a Monday when they've rested, <laughs> they don't rest. But sometimes it's actually like, okay, this is the meal. Especially when you've gone a long day and you're you are starved. When you eat, if you're like, this is money for my. Value for my money, so yes, they have their on and off days, especially in some locations. But we shouldn't be for business. I know. But then again, I think it's just mostly off because the truth is, um, truth is, um, if you know, if you had somewhere else, it's for them. You take it. Yeah, I would say it's so bad. I'm sorry to say their fried rice is not fried rice. I think it's just colored rice. I think fried rice is generally colored rice. It's just it's just colored rice. Well, if you're, I think for me, if jello fries is fine, even their spaghetti is actually fine too. It's 500 there. So how how do you want it to be garnished with? That's why like, I said, what was your purpose of doing this? It is to reach out to the masses. That's why I said, quantity for the no quality. When they started this, but the chicken is, chicken is, is a nice size. I'm not talking about the chicken, I'm talking about So I guess they're making up for the rice by giving you a nice size of crunchy chicken. No, and I don't want size, I need quality. But I think apart from rice, their chicken with sandwich isn't actually bad. Chicken with their base, their spaghetti is actually good too. For the 500 meal, so maybe we should just target the spaghetti. I think the low the end. The is really amazing. I must the say. packages are what is what's done so good. Maybe the rice, five hundred naira. But when you go to like chickpeas, they are burgers. Um, like I said, snacks. You can amazing. eat those things. So their products oh, are oh. just I'd rather pay one five to have a proper fine meal quality I than pay five hundred. I'd rather not. For me, proper quality. I'd rather do three of that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're going to move to Chicken Republic um, as opposed to its competitors. Um, so, I'm more hiking. So, TFC fried rice is very good, it's not common rice. <laughs> Um, Jollof rice, I don't really like it that much. I feel like Jolly, yeah, and Jockey rice, everything about TFC, trust me, amazeballs, it's nice. 
I don't know I can't about the jello fries. I'm actually always wondering really nice. jello fries. Trust me. Yeah. Yes. So, so I can't do jello fries. I'll it cold. over their jello, jello fries. fries is very, very dicey. You can't be one day good, one day bad. So I feel like if it's not eaten as a party, I don't expect all these eateries to actually get it right. So for me, I'll actually go to Chicken Republic's jello fries over TFC's jello fries, in my honest opinion. I um, like the varieties for chicken at Chicken Republic. They only give you the spicy one and the crunchy one, right? Yeah. No barbecue. Mm. You don't have barbecue. That's very bad. Chicken Republic is just Looking at it from this I'm a vegetarian. And they don't even take care of, of my needs when I need to eat. I mean, I think it's something they should work. But it's a chicken out. republic. I don't think it's supposed to be related to vegetarian. No, no, regardless, regardless. I mean, you should, you should cut across. I, I truly doubt it. I'm not just um, flesh eaters. I mean, I mean, Hello, this is chicken republic. I what do you expect? Fast food managers do not cater. No, no. I mean, if I don't decide, I don't. Everything can be chicken uh, considered. Yes, salad has. Prepared tofu for them. Vegetarian. Hello, go to tofu republic. Yeah, don't go to chicken republic. <laughs> no, no, no. Or put in chicken nuggets. <laughs> Chicken nuggets is still chicken, not going to be eaten by a chicken, by a vegetarian IK. You can taste chicken nuggets, right? No, no that's it. It's not eating eggs. So why even go to chicken? You might as well go to buy vegetarian spring roll or the roadside. I'll cook your food. You know? I'll just stay in your house and eat food. Just like awesome. I said, your target exactly. Exactly. It's so not you're not, you're not for it's you. It's not quality. It's for them quantity and for the masses. Quality of the chicken is quality. Okay, so I'm going to have anything about competitors when compared to competitors. Uh, no, for now. Okay, um, so can I say anything about competitors? I feel when it comes to food, definitely TFC beats here. Um, what's it called? Chicken public hands down. Yes. But. Yes. When it comes to accessibility, One. everywhere you go to, you not, find a chicken pub. Yeah. TFC, not so much. And I also like their branding way better than TFC. TFC. Sometimes TFC can be a little bit local when you compare it to. It Even have, their brand identity, compared to Chicken Republic, the packaging is great. It's, it's different, especially when it comes to ambience as well. Exactly. Yes, the they are consistent. Is way they are very consistent. Right. Okay, I'll say so TFC cool. has consistency when it comes to their food. You go to all the outlets of TFC. Lagos and you find the same taste. Reason being that, reason being that you find the same taste. Reason being that TFC they have a rally point where the food is um, cooked at a certain place as a head and it's dispatched all around. But um, consistency when it comes to Chicken Republic, I really can't say. I wouldn't say I'm biased about Chicken Republic. But that's my opinion. So I'd rather that, like I said, I'd rather quality over quantity and masses. Well, I think anything TFC beats um, chicken public is when it comes to food. But apart from that, ambience wise, packaging, brand messaging, brand image, um, chicken public beats is hands down. It's even more affordable. Mm -hmm. yes. It's more affordable sure. than that. So I feel. Overall, I think Chicken Republic is a strong brand. What do you guys think? Yes, I think it's a strong brand too, and I feel like they're going to be around for a very long time. Yes. Um. So yes. Um. For them. Imo, what do you think about? Yeah, uh, I agree with you. They will be around for a long time. They've done their homework and they're killing the market. All right. Thank you. What do you have to say? Final words for Chicken Republic. More vegetarian food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's quite difficult because I mean, I hardly ever eat it. But then again, if they will cater for some of us that don't eat some of these things, I mean, be a plus for them. You can try their moimoi. But no, yeah, I think their moimoi is I'd like to say yeah, something. Greatest scam. Greatest scam. How much is it? Egg? 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 I mean, I'd rather you do not even put it in it. But they give me a slice of. I just want to make it fancy the package. I'm of the opinion that. Anything worth doing at all is worth doing well. If you know you really want to go the 500, the 800, you want to really go affordable, then if it's not from here, why? Mm -mm. But anyways, I think they're strong when it comes to brand identity, being out there for the masses, and of course, affordability. People would want to be able to, oh, I'm hungry, and walk into a place, and oh, yes, I'll give it to them, and I think they'll be around for a very long time because of this. But besides that, quality, I'm sorry. No, no, for me. Sorry, one just popped into my head. I think they have free Wi-Fi spots in some of their 
outlets, right? And I also want to say that it's a great place for meetings because yes. I will definitely not go to a Mr. Weeks for a meeting, a tantalizer, oh. or a TSC. Yes. It's always a GK in public. Sorry? Yes, apparently. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. So I'm. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm all right, thank you guys for coming in. Tolu, IK, Samira, Imo, thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. And um, if you want us to review any business, please let us know in our comments. You can send us an email or when you visit the blog, you can put it down in the comments, social media pages. We'll be happy to review the business. <laughs>